Okay, doing all kinds of things here, right? A for loop that prints 17 through 27 on one line. Four int i equals 17, i less than 28, i plus plus. We go up by one each time. Easy peasy, system.out.print, i plus space. And then it's good form at this point to print a blank line. Otherwise, the part two will just print on the same line. So let's make sure this is working. The next one's going 50 through 95, going by fives. 17 through 27 on one line. Okay, so for int i equals 50, i less than 100, that'll work. Or we could say less than 96, you know. Um, i plus equals 5. That means go up by five. And then I'm going to um, paste this in here just to save myself time. Should have copied this line as well. Let's see if that works. Should have this line up with the 26. Yep. Okay, part three, write a for loop to print six, five, four, all the way down to negative four, all on one line. 4 int i equals 6, i greater than negative 5, i minus minus. And I can copy these lines completely since that part is rather generic. And that's looking a lot like the output there. And then finally, write a for loop with another for loop inside of it to print the times tables from 10 to 13. So um, that's for, I'm going to go int i equals 10, i less than 14, i plus plus. And then I'm going to do int j, uh, sorry, for int j equals 10, j less than 14, j plus plus. That's Making i will be 10 through 13, and when i is 10, j will be 10 through 13, and so on. So right here we do system.out.print uh, i times j plus, we're going to do a tab in between. And then after the inner for loop is done, we have to do a system.out.println, that println with the ln to go to a new line. Um, and let's do another system.out.println down here. Um, this one goes to a new line after each line of the times tables is done. And this looks a lot like that. I believe we have succeeded. There's all the parts.